Those of my viewers who are in their teens or 20s will probably consider this video boring, so you can skip. And the rest of us who are interested in not getting old too quickly, although it's inevitable, in longevity as such, you can carry on watching. So one of the hallmarks of aging and getting old is mitochondrial dysfunction. Mitochondria are these little power plants within our cells that produce ATP, the main energy currency of the body. And multiple studies have demonstrated that as we're getting old, our mitochondrial function declines. From that, we can conclude that improving our mitochondrial function and building new mitochondria is something that can delay aging and that can promote longevity. And there are two simple and actionable ways that we can do this. So one method to build new mitochondria and make your existing mitochondria more effective is zone two training. So aerobic training at the intensity at which you can roughly talk but not sing. And I have a big Q&A on zone two. You can have a look uh, on YouTube. But basically, it's jogging, swimming, uh, rocking, hill walking, treadmill, elliptical, whatever suits your needs and resources that would make you engage cellular respiration, mitochondria to produce energy, prolonged bouts of aerobic exercise at this level of intensity that you can talk but not sing. And we're aiming 150, 180 or more minutes per week. So roughly three plus hours. And the second method of improving our mitochondrial function is exposing ourselves to sunlight. Sunlight has different wavelengths. Uh, there's visible light, there's UV light that can give a sunburn, but there's also infrared light, which is more like heat or warmth and particularly one wavelength um, there's a whole spectrum from 600 to 900 nanometers roughly but the 850 nanometers is shown in the studies to penetrate deep into our tissues in contrast to visible light and UV light that doesn't penetrate that deep. But the 850 nanometer wavelength penetrates deep, gets absorbed by our mitochondria and improves their function, improves ATP production and so on. So get yourself exposed to sunlight, ideally when the sun is low, so early in the morning or late in the afternoon when you don't get that much UV exposure, you don't risk that much sunburn, but you do get the 850 nanometer beneficial infrared for your mitochondria.